Hello, welcome to another video, and today I'm just going to quickly uh, highlight um, a change to the Proving Grounds that Gearbox just launched. So, um, if you've been keeping up, uh, Gearbox will be doing a lot of tweaking to how loot is obtained in Endgame. And some ups, some downs. However, after like seven changes to Proving Grounds, they finally did it. Um, so, uh, uh, a hotfix went up earlier today that may meant so if you get all four ticks in a Proving Ground, you should be seeing four legendaries. Then work at launch and people are like, okay, another botch hotfix again. However, several hours later, uh, they finally fixed it. So now, in order to, uh, since they butchered wall drop farming a little while ago, a couple of weeks ago, uh, farming class mods and artifacts was nigh impossible. I could never recommend doing it if you valued your time in uh, any capacity. However, now, um, you get about two to four class mods and artifacts every single run from a proving ground. I recommend doing this one, the Trial of Obsidian, which is, um, the, yeah, the Hall of Obsidian, which is Supremacy. You pick this one up in Desolation's Edge. This is easily by far the quickest, and it's it's Malawan and Guardians, uh, basic Guardians, so it's it's not even that difficult either. Uh, lots of people like to run Discipline, but because of the buggy door at the start, losing your 15 seconds and stuff, uh, that one's actually um, not very quick, because there's a lot of waiting. This one's just so fast. Now, obviously, I'm using my Helzo Karamara with a Plasma Coil. I'm tryharding a little bit, but yeah, I usually do this one, depending on build, from 2 minute 5 to about 2 minute 30-ish. Uh, this build gets about a 120, 125 on average. Say 120, 125, 220, 225. So it's, as I say, it's a really quick one, very easy to get sub 5, even if you don't have an optimized build. It's very, very short. We're on the third room already, and we're only 90 seconds in. Uh, the spawns are all relatively static as well. So yeah, um, if you're wanting to farm class mods and artifacts, this is where to come. Uh, they're finally worth it now, Proving Grounds, after 19 months. Uh, I've been waiting for that. I wanted Proving Grounds to be good for so long, and six buffs, that's just still not value. Uh, but they are now. Uh, I hope Gearbox have got some more changes planned as well. Uh, takedowns are in a bit of a rough start, spot right now. And Trials, uh, Trials are not a good place to farm Ar uh, Iridium. I'm gonna have a separate video uploading, covering that. Um, again, another console-friendly farm. This is console-friendly. Which is what I love, because you don't really have to go through as many loading screens. Spawning in, killing one boss that can barely shoot back that you kill in, like, five seconds, and then spending one and a half minutes, um, in Jericho, uh, one and a half minutes, uh, save quitting. Ew, no. Uh, this is more gameplay. As we come to the chest, we got all four ticks. Boom, legendaries on the minimap. Now, fair warning, you will be getting a lot of... Cosmetics. <laughs> ah, the, uh, recorder's curse. But, yeah, um, you'll be getting quite a bit of cosmetics, but hey, two out of four is better than we've ever got. And, um, you know, the screenshot that you can see on screen now, that was my very first run post, post fix of the fix of the fix. Um, four artifacts right there. So we got two class mods, uh, an elementalist and a nimbus, which is actually what this boss drops. You can drop any base game artifact and class mod as long as it's in the world drop pool. It'll drop any of those. The ones it won't, it'll be the Mayhem 4 class mods, DLC ones, of course, and like the hyper-specific ones, like the Banjo and the Unleash the Dragon. Those two won't drop, but like Vic Rush, Otto's Idol, um, White Elephant, Static Charge, Launch Pad, uh, yeah, launch pad. They they can all drop here. As for class mods, you're looking at, you know, Minesweeper, Blastmaster, Phaserker, Cosmic Stalker, Red Fang, all those lovelies. Uh, Executor, wonderful one for Zane. That can drop. Uh, so yeah. New best way of just, like, kind of generalist farming for uh, class mods and artifacts now. If you're going for a high, like, a very specific one, it's still worth considering to go for the dedicated drop. I'd still recommend that. Uh, however, if you don't want to de do a deddy farm, avoid loading screens, slash just want to farm some class ones and artifacts, these chests are actually worth it now. And I've already passed along the feedback regarding 
the uh, the mass skin drops because they they will be consuming a lot of your spot. So just forewar, just forewarning now. However, I'm gonna start rounding here. Stop wasting your time. Thank you so so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, good luck on the farms and uh, proving grounds. Finally worth it. Uh, thank you very much and bye bye.